Hello guys and welcome again to this edition of Learning with Rich. Okay, uh, in this topic, so we are going to have an introduction to object styles in Revit 2018. Okay, so what is object style? The object style actually can find it on the Manage tab. You can see here the object styles. Okay, so that's the object style. So the definition is it specifies the line weights, colors, and patterns, and materials for model objects, annotation objects, and imported objects. Okay, so in this exercise, we're going to use the object styles to quickly adjust the graphic display of several categories of Revit elements across multiple views. Okay, so let's get started. So take note that I am doing this in architectural model, but the procedure of this is the same as if you're going to work on Revit MEP model or Revit structure model. Okay, the way you change the object style or modify the object style here in architectural model, it's also the same in structural model and MEP model. Okay, right. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can see in my view, this is actually a sheet view. Okay. It's a sheet view wherein I do have two floor plans, one 3D view, and one section. Okay, so what we are going to do? So we're going to use the object styles to control the visibility of several categories of objects across these views. Okay, so to start with, so let's say for example, I notice there are some trees here, right? There are some trees and I want to change the color of those trees. Like, for example, oh, I want that to be colored green, okay? I want this color to be green. I also want this to be green, okay? So for you to be able to do that, first thing that you need to do is you need to, uh, you need to know what is the family category of that particular element. Is that the tree, okay? So you need to check. So what you can do is you can click the viewport, right-click, and you can activate the view. Or... Another way to activate the view is to select the viewport and then you can see the activate view there. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now that the view is activated, so I can now select this family and then there you go. So you will notice that the category of that tree is uh, planting. So the category is planting. Now that I know the category is planting, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to deactivate the view. Just right click, deactivate. Okay, and then I'm going to open the object styles. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the object styles. And then after that, I'm going to look for planting, letter P. Plant, there you go. So there's the planting, and then from the object styles on my model objects, as you can see, there's the planting. Take note that you can also change here the annotation objects, analytical model objects, and imported objects, okay? But for this exercise, I'll just focus on model objects. So planting, I'll change the color here, the line color. So I said green, okay, and then okay. And yes, it's now green, okay, across all your views. So on the floor, two floor plans and on my uh, section view, as long as they do have the same category, it will change the color green if they have a category of planting. Okay, next. After the planting, so what I want to do is I want to modify the furniture. Okay, I want to modify the furniture. So let's say, oh, I want the furniture to be gray. And I want the line to be dash. Okay, so that's what I want to do. You see, these are my furnitures here. Okay, so if I want to check, Again, I just click the viewport, activate the view, and then I can click this one. And then as you can see, oh, that's a furniture. So this is a furniture. So I want to change the object style of my furniture into gray and dash line. Okay, so let me just deactivate again the view, deactivate. Okay, so I'm going to open the object styles and then look for letter F, furniture. There you go, furniture. I'll change the line pattern. 
So let's say I want this dash tight and then the color I want this light gray and then okay and then okay there you go see right okay you see okay but you will notice here on my 3d view let's say for example this furniture this chair here okay this portion of this furniture is not colored gray right but still a black now for you to be able to address this uh, the first thing that you need to do is of course you need to activate the view you click the view for it activate the view and then the next thing is you click the family which is the furniture and then you edit it we are not going to modify the family we just want to check out some information regarding this family so i'm going to open the edit family editor okay and then you see this portion here so i'm going to click and it will give you an idea that the subcategory is a pub chair okay it's a pub chair same with the seat so the backrest and then the seat here it's subcategories pub chair so what i'm going to do is i'm going to close this so now that i'm i have known that this is uh this furniture has a subcategory so what i'm going to do is okay i'm going to deactivate now the view and then from the manage go to the object styles object styles uh look for furniture okay there's a plus sign there you click that and then you will now be able to see all the subcategories including the pop chair pop chair so i want this to be gray and then i want this to be dash type so dash type there you go i uh okay there you go now notice that the the glasses here and then the plates are not changed to colored gray and dash line it's because their category is not furniture okay so just to show you i'm going to activate the viewport so i click one of the plate you see the category is generic model so that's why it didn't change anyway uh right click deactivate the view now the next thing that we need to do is uh let me try to activate the viewport of this okay so i activate it and then I'm going to change here the visual style. So let's say realistic. I select that. Okay. So what I want to do is uh, I want to change the material of these cabinets here. Okay. I want to change the materials of these cabinets. So these cabinets, uh, it's a casework. So there's a casework. So let me try to open the object styles. Cancel this one. And then look for casework let me try to expand this there you go okay so cabinet countertop uh, countertop let me try to change that to white let's look for a white color there's the white color okay and then for the cabinet so let me change this to cherry okay so cherry okay this one uh just change it to cherry also just to make sure okay and then i'll just select okay there you go so it's now change okay right there is actually another way of changing the material of your object let's say for example oh i want i do not want this to be colored brown I only want to change this okay because here if you modify it it will let's say it's casework you change the material here all the family that has the casework uh category it will change even though they are a uh, different type because as you can see this is this type is wider if i click this it's 36 inches if i click this one it's 30 inches but these furniture or casework uh, change at the same time because they do have the same category. Now, if I only want to change this one, okay, you do not go to the object style, okay? What you can do is 
you can select this individually and then you go to edit type uh, uh let me select how about here okay so let's say i want uh wood uh birch let's let me try this birch let me try okay see did it change <laughs> let me select edit side how about this one door birch also click then i click let's zoom out yeah, so it's changed. So you can actually change it manually from the edit type. Okay. Then after that, so I can now right click, deactivate the view. There you go. Okay. So basically, that's how you use the object styles in Revit. So the object styles tool of Revit is a great feature to help us quickly control the appearance of a category of objects in all of our views. So object styles also holds the lowest graphic priority level and can be overridden in a number of ways. So using the object style should be the first step for presenting your information consistently across a number of views okay so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions and suggestions you can reach me out in my chat sauce account you can check out the description of this video or you can also put it on the comment section okay so once again this is rich thank you for watching and you all stay beautiful and handsome have a nice day